Gravity. This omnipresent force, gravity, is a mystery that has intrigued scholars and scientists for centuries. From the apple that fell on Newton's head, sparking the laws of motion, to Einstein's theory of relativity, which redefined our understanding of gravity as the curvature of space-time itself, this force has been the center of countless breakthroughs, yet gravity remains an enigma, a puzzle that continues to perplex us. It's everywhere, shaping the cosmos, guiding the planets in their orbits, and keeping our feet firmly planted on the ground. Despite its ubiquitous nature, it's the weakest of the four fundamental forces, and the questions persist. What really is gravity? How does it work at the most fundamental level? But what if we told you that our understanding of gravity is still evolving, that brings us to our journey into the realm of quantum gravity? To comprehend the challenge of quantum gravity, we first need to understand two key theories, general relativity and quantum mechanics. General relativity, the brainchild of Albert Einstein, presents a novel take on gravitation. It doesn't view gravity as a force, instead it sees it as a result of space-time curvature, a distortion caused by the uneven distribution of mass. Imagine a bowling ball on a trampoline, the ball sinks into the fabric, creating a dip. This is what massive objects do to space-time. They warp it. The more massive the object, the greater the warp. This warping affects how nearby objects move, just like smaller balls would roll towards the bowling ball on the trampoline. General relativity, confirmed by countless experiments and observations, has proven exceptional at describing large-scale phenomena such as planet movements and the dynamics of galaxies. Quantum mechanics, however, operates on the other end of the scale. It deals with the minuscule, the atoms and subatomic particles. In this realm, nature is described in terms of probabilities. Particles exist in a state of superposition, embodying all possible states until they are observed. It's like having a sealed box with a cat that could be either alive or dead. Until you open the box, the cat is both alive and dead at the same time. This may sound strange, but quantum mechanics has been remarkably successful in explaining an array of phenomena at the microscopic scale. Now, here's the rub. The universe doesn't exist in two separate scales. It's a continuum from the smallest particle to the vastest galaxy, and gravity as a fundamental force should operate on all scales. But when we try to apply general relativity to quantum scales or quantum mechanics to large scales, things fall apart. The theories seem incompatible. While both theories are remarkably successful in their respective realms, they seem incompatible when it comes to describing gravity at the quantum level. This is where the quest for a quantum gravity begins. The quest for quantum gravity is essentially a search for a theory that can marry the large-scale world of general relativity and the small-scale world of quantum mechanics. This search is born out of the need to reconcile these two pillars of physics which have stood somewhat separately for the better part of a century. You see, general relativity is a fantastic theory for describing large-scale phenomena such as the motion of planets and the dynamics of galaxies. However, it starts to stumble when we try to apply it to the quantum world, a realm where the rules of the game are quite different. This world is ruled by quantum mechanics, a theory that deals with the very small, such as atoms and subatomic particles. The trouble arises when we try to describe gravity, a force we understand so well on large scales, at the quantum level. In the realm of the very small, the Planck scale to be precise, general relativity breaks down. This is where the effects of quantum mechanics become significant, and the smooth fabric of space-time predicted by Einstein's theory is expected to be replaced by a more complex structure. Here's where things get really interesting. Some scientists believe that at the Planck scale, space-time might assume a foamy structure. Imagine, if you will, a sea of tiny, frothing bubbles, each one a quantum of space-time constantly popping in and out of existence. This quantum foam is a far cry from the smooth, continuous space-time we're familiar with from general relativity, but it might just be the key to understanding quantum gravity. Several theories have emerged in this quest, each with its own unique approach to unravelling the quantum nature of gravity. These theories are pushing the boundaries of our understanding, challenging our assumptions and opening up new vistas of knowledge. The quest for quantum gravity is far from over, but with each step forward we're getting closer to answering some of the most profound questions about the nature of the universe. Among the various theories proposed to stand out, string theory and loop quantum gravity. 
Imagine, if you will, that the universe is not made up of point-like particles, but rather tiny, one-dimensional strings. This is the foundation of string theory. These strings, like the strings of a violin, can vibrate at different frequencies. It's these various modes of vibration that give rise to the fundamental particles we know, electrons, quarks, photons, and so on. String theory is a bit of a superstar because it naturally incorporates gravity and it has the potential to unify all the fundamental forces of nature, but it's not without its complications. It requires us to accept the existence of extra dimensions beyond the three of space and one of time that we're familiar with, and it also relies on the concept of supersymmetry. Now let's take a different path and venture into the realm of loop quantum gravity. This theory takes a rather bold step and attempts to quantize space-time itself. Loop quantum gravity suggests that space-time is made up of tiny interconnected loops. These loops form a network, a kind of quantum foam, if you will, that makes up the fabric of the cosmos. Unlike string theory, loop quantum gravity doesn't require any additional dimensions or the notion of supersymmetry. It's a bit more down to earth, or should we say, down to quantum. Both string theory and loop quantum gravity present unique solutions to the problem of quantum gravity. They offer different perspectives on the fundamental nature of the universe, one based on vibrating strings, the other on quantized loops of space-time. However, it's important to remember that these are just theories. They offer intriguing possibilities, but they remain to be confirmed by experimental evidence. This lack of empirical support is not for lack of trying, but rather because the energies required to test these theories are currently beyond our reach. While both theories are fascinating, they are yet to be confirmed by experimental evidence, which brings us to our next topic. The path to understanding quantum gravity is fraught with challenges, the biggest being the lack of experimental evidence. Quantum gravity operates on a scale so minuscule, the Planck scale, that it is currently beyond our technological capabilities to directly observe or measure. This is akin to trying to read the fine print in a book from a mile away with the naked eye. A daunting task indeed. However, this doesn't mean we are completely in the dark. Indirect evidence may provide the flashlight to illuminate our path. The detection of gravitational waves, for instance, offers a tantalizing glimpse into the quantum realm. These ripples in the fabric of space-time caused by violent cosmic events have already confirmed aspects of general relativity and could potentially offer insights into the quantum nature of gravity. Similarly, the study of black holes could shed light on the enigma of quantum gravity. These cosmic behemoths with their extreme gravitational pull represent an edge case where the principles of quantum mechanics and general relativity collide. Observations and studies of black holes could provide valuable clues and testable predictions for theories of quantum gravity. The future directions in the field of quantum gravity are as diverse as they are exciting. New theories and hypotheses continue to emerge, each attempting to bridge the gap between the macroscopic world of general relativity and the microscopic world of quantum mechanics. Innovative approaches such as the holographic principle suggest that our three-dimensional reality may be a projection of information stored on a distant two-dimensional surface. Others propose the existence of extra dimensions or the concept of quantum entanglement as key to understanding gravity at the quantum level. As we delve deeper into these theories and strive to gather experimental evidence, we are also developing new technologies and methodologies. The quest for quantum gravity is not just about understanding the universe, it's about driving the evolution of scientific thought and innovation. As we continue our journey, the mysteries of quantum gravity may one day reveal a deeper understanding of the fabric of the universe.